this is going to be an ASMR thrift haul. So I actually, this is starting in a weird spot in the video, you'll see. Um, but I decided to split this into two videos so that I have more thrift hauls to give out to you guys whenever I realized that the last video was getting kind of long. Getting kind of long. I decided just to go ahead and split it up. So this is my little intro, um, but we're just gonna jump right in to the stuff. Moving on to the next store. I got this comfy cone. I think I paid either $150 or $2 for this. And I think it'll be good because I don't have one of these yet. I think if Moo ever needs surgery or something like that and she needs a cone, I think this will be better than the plasticky one so she can like lay her head on it and stuff. It's cushy. And it is in a size large. I already have one of these elephant watering cans, but the one that I have is more of a flat gray. It's not this like metallic silver color. And this is for by Union Products, 1996. So it would be considered vintage at this point. What does that say about me? Yikes. Isn't he super cute? And I don't need both. I might give one to my mother as a gift because she loves elephants. And I don't think she has one of these yet. Then last. And possibly least from that store. This, I'm trying to, are those peppers? They've got to be peppers, right? It's olive oil and peppers, that's what I'm guessing, but I don't actually 100% know what's inside of this. This is a vintage glass star shaped bottle, sealed and filled with something and I got it for $2.99 and the lady at the counter pissed me off because she was like oh cute somebody was here the other day and bought the sun the one that was shaped like a sun and I hate whenever people separate stuff like that at the thrift store I know you're like loud or whatever but it's bad karma Then at the last store, we got a few different things. I got these shower hooks, and the box is extra messed up because I had to open it and make sure that there were 12 in there. Because if there's not, then we got a problem. But they are one of the kinds where it has a hook on each side for your curtain and your liner, and I already have a set that does the same thing different shape but same concept and it is life-changing because whenever your liner gets all gross or whenever you want to switch out the actual shower curtain you can just pull it off and pull it on you don't have to pull all the hooks down and it doesn't get all super complicated and annoying it's amazing and i think i'm going to give these to my mom or my dad i guess it doesn't matter they live in the same place um, but they have, so the house that's attached to my mom's office, they don't stay there that often anymore, but there's a shower there. And then at their house house, they stay there um, more often. I don't know why that matters. Anyway, there's two showers there. So no matter what, I feel like they'll be able to use these somewhere. Then I got two of these. I found the knockoff version of these at in all different colors at a yard sale years ago. 
and they're awesome but these ones are real they have the tags these are by the kiplinger bag company and they usually just come with bags as keychains they can suck their thumbs and i got these for 49 cents each which is pretty cool i just remembered i actually do have a little kiplinger bag that doesn't have one of these because i got it from a thrift store it didn't come with it so now so now i can be complete i actually don't remember at all what's in here oh turtle yeah i got this turtle i think it's from the same company i have these little frogs that go inside my planters they're just very cute and like not realistic, but very, like, emotive. Like, they look like they have a whole personality. And I'm either gonna... Oh, yeah, there's the brand. Um, UBC Miller. Um, or I'm gonna get them to my boss, because she's a plant lady, to put in one of her plants, because it's just adorable. Also, stocking stuffers. Stockings are a thing at work right now and I still gotta bring in all my stuff either today, tomorrow, or day after. The last days I'm working before Christmas. Um to put in all my coworkers' stockings, but this might be might be a good thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have one more thing from this thrift store and then there's a whole nother thrift store in this bag. So the last thing that I got at this thrift store is a shot glass. And it's really funny. And I hope that Moo doesn't take it the wrong way. But <laughs> it says, if you think I'm a bitch, you should see my daughter. Wildwood, New Jersey. <laughs> Which I think if you're a mother to a human daughter and you would buy this or buy this as a present for a mother with a human daughter, that is messed up and that's going to cause some psychological damage if they ever find out about that. But I figured because my dog is literally, well my daughter is literally a female dog, I thought that this would be funny. So that's why I got it and I needed another, um, regular regular shot glass because I have two little fancy shot glasses they look like little wine glasses I have, I have a set of those and then I have a set of vintage bottoms up shot glasses which are those <laughs> look them up online if you've never seen them before maybe I'll insert a picture somewhere but they have like a little naked person as part of the glass laying over it so they're not flat at the bottom so it forces you to take your shot right away so you can't put them down that's why they're called bottoms up this little butt Anyway, I only have one shot glass that's shaped like a regular shot glass, and now I have two for normal shot time. Then, the last thrift store of the day, I got a few things. Let's start off with the thing that is not... Christmas related. I got this tiki. And this is paper stuck to the back of it. Um, Canaloa. Hopefully, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but Canaloa. God of eternal hope. Canaloa, one of the four major gods of ancient Polynesia, was the god of eternal hope, having both strong and weak human traits endeared him sorry half of the writing is like worn off endeared him to his followers stressing that strength of mind allows one to endure hardship and misfortune Kanaloa bestows understanding between all men and promises eternal happiness and he's cute and he's kind of got a curve so he like you could set him up on a shelf and he'd look down like this I don't know if he's supposed to or if he's just old and he like kind of warped over time, but he is by Coco Joe's, made in Hawaii, number 342. Then 
And then I got two. Oh, these Christmas things were half off too, which is awesome. So I got two of these Anna Lee dolls. And one is Santa, and he is just darling dearest. Ellie USA 1963 and then this one is modern yeah this one's 2004 so the 1963 one has foam in his belly why is my camera say that somebody's outside um and then he's just like wire up in here so the craftsmanship back in the day with these eh, questionable but Overall, he's in very nice condition for being that old. And then the elf, I thought, looked a lot newer, and he is. He's still got part of his hang tag, and he's actually got stuffing, not just wire, and little sand in his feet. And he's like, I don't know what's going on little striped socks and he's got glitter and then the last thing that I got was how to get these stickers off these are four dollars oh Oh, the Anna Lee things were $8, which is really expensive, but they were four because they were half off each. And then this was four, so it was half off, so it was two. And these are Italian Depose made in Italy Mercury figures. And this bag is stapled shut, but let me see if I can open it really quick. So we've got the shepherd who looks like he is disgusted by this, almost looks like a goat, but I assume it's supposed to be a sheep. He's like, ew, sheep. And then we've got a cow, just being a cow. And we've got a donkey. And then we got Mary and Joseph looks kind of creepy here. His hair keeps going in my eyelashes. And Angel. baby Jeebus. So that was all for Little Turtle. I hope that you guys enjoyed. My question of the day is it going to be I don't know if I should ask what are you doing for Christmas because I don't know if this is going to be up before Christmas. Okay, what are you doing if it's before Christmas or what did you do for Christmas? I will have done nothing. I'm not going home for Christmas this year and i it's just going to be a regular day. I didn't even decorate because my decorations, attics in Florida are horrible to get stuff in and out of. It's like a crawl space you need a ladder to get to and it's... My bins of stuff are like really heavy and it really sucks because I'm usually really festive and I'm going to miss all the festivities, but it is what it is. Maybe I can live vicariously through you or maybe some of you guys aren't doing anything either and then, you know, we'll be in it together.
this is my current list of wonderful, wonderful patron subscribers. Um, sorry that you can hear the road noise and the noisy neighbors in the unit next to my work, but it is what it is. I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday, and I hope that your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day are wonderful, and I hope that next year is your best year.